adding a facet for video formats. This how-to video describes the steps used to add a local static facet that allows users to narrow their search results by a specific type of video format, such as Blu-ray or DVD. The mark fields that will identify video formats for your institution may differ from the examples used in this how-to video. For our examples, we'll use values found in the MARC 538 subfield A. Step 1 is to customize the label that will display for the new static facet called Video Formats. Label changes are made in code tables. Navigate from Primo Home to Advanced Configuration to All Code Tables. Confirm that your institution is showing in the Update for Owner field. Enter the value Facets Code Fields in the Table Name search box and click Search. Click the Edit button to open the Facets Code Fields code table. Use the Language Filter to filter to English. Filter the Fields Name column for the entry called Facet underscore Local 2. Update the Field Codes column with the new label called Video Format. Save and continue and deploy the code table changes to complete the process. Step 2. Create a new static facet. Create a new static facet by navigating from Primo Home to Advanced Configuration to All Mapping Tables. Select Static Facets from the Subsystem dropdown to view a list of existing static facet tables. Click Edit next to the Static Facets table to add a new value. At the bottom left of the page, under the option called Create a new static facet, select Video Format from the Choose a Facet drop-down list and click the Create button. A new row called Video Format will appear in the Static Facets mapping table. Click Save to return to the list of Static Facets tables. A new Static Facet mapping table called Facet underscore Local 2 underscore Values now appears in the list. Click Edit to open the new mapping table. Add value name and values to the table as shown in this example. Click Save to return to the list of static facet mapping tables. Click the Sync button next to the facet underscore local to underscore values mapping table. The Sync process generates a new code table which contains default codes and labels for the new video format values. We'll look at this code table later in the demo. Return to the code tables list by clicking the link called Advanced Configuration at the top of the page. A new page will open. Click the top link called All Code Tables. Use the Table Name search box, enter the value Facets Labels, and click Search. Click Edit to open the Facets Labels code table. At the bottom of the table, use the Create a New Code Table Row input box to create a new row entry. Enter the values shown in this example to create a new row. The new entry will now display as the first entry in the code table. Verify that the values are correct. Click Save and Continue and then Deploy to save the code table changes. You will return to the code table's search screen. If you want to customize the code table labels for the new facet values that were created during the sync process, search in Subsystem All and by table name facet underscore local to underscore values using the table name search box. Click Edit to open the table and filter to English. View the table entries and update code values as desired for display labels. 
click Save and Continue and deploy to save the changes. Step 3. Create a normalization rule. Next, we'll create a normalization rule that will check if the MARC 538 subfield A exists in the source record. If the values in the 538 subfield A match the parameters defined in the normalization rule, the values will be written to the local facet LFCO2 in the PNX record. Navigate from Primo Home to Advanced Configuration to Full Normalization Rule Configuration. Click Edit for your normalization rule set. In this example, we will edit the demo underscore train underscore voi underscore nr normalization rules. Click Edit to open the specified normalization rule. Check the box at the top of the screen that says Display Empty PNX Fields. Choose Facets from the PNX Sections drop-down box. Scroll down to the entry for the Facets LFC02 rule and click the Edit button to open the Rules Editor. When the Rule Editor opens, click the Create button to create a new rule. Enter the following fields to configure the rule. Set the Action Parameter to OR, select Mark from the Type dropdown, enter the Mark value of 538 into the Field Input box, enter A as the Include subfield value. Add an additional line under the Transformation by clicking on the plus sign. Edit the first transformation by choosing the Take All Substrings Use regular expression value and define the parameters as provided in the documentation. Edit the second transformation by choosing lowercase from the drop down list. The parameter value in this case will be left blank. Enter a description and additional comments as documentation of your work. Click Save to save the new LFCO2 rule. Deploy the changes to the normalization rule using the following steps. Click the link for Primo Home in the main menu. Click the Deploy All link and check the box next to the entry for normalization rules. Click Deploy to save the normalization rule changes. Step 4. Run a pipe. Navigate from Primo Home to Monitor Primo Status to Pipe Monitoring. Run a no harvest update data source pipe that uses your updated normalization rule set. In this example, the demo train voi renorm pipe has already been created. From the pipe list, click Execute. The pipe will run and update records with the new local facet value if matching fields are found in the source record. Note that scheduled indexing will need to run before the new facet values are available in the Primo front end view. Step 5. Add the facet to a view. Navigate from Primo Home to Ongoing Configuration Wizard to Views Wizard. Edit the view where you would like end users to be able to see the new video facet values. In this example, we'll use the Train view. Click the Edit button next to the view. The Edit View Attributes page will display. Click the Save and Continue button and the Search Scope List page will display. Click the Continue button and the Tab Configuration page will display. Click Continue once more and the Tile Configuration page will open. At the Tiles Configuration page, select Brief Display from the drop-down list. Click on the Edit Tile button next to Refine My Results Facets. On the Edit Facets Attribute page, navigate to the Facets to Display section and select Video Format from the Add a New Facet to Tile Facet Type dropdown. Click Create to add the Video Format option to the list of facets to display. Modify the display options, number of items to display, and sort order by size, 
alphanumeric or no sort order specified. Enable the checkbox next to the new facet value for the relevant tab or tabs. Click Save and Continue to return to the Tile Configuration page. Click Continue to Deploy. Click Deploy Now to deploy the changes to the view. Step 6. Confirm that the new video format facet is displaying in Primo. Search your Primo view and confirm that the new facet is displaying.